Good morning. And how are you today? I hope you had a great Easter last week. I know I had a very unusual Easter. It was much different than usual. I ordinarily go to my mom and dad's house and my sister and my brother come with their families and we have an Easter egg hunt and some of my cousins are there and it's a big celebration. Well, this year we had to stay home. We had to watch mass on television and it just wasn't quite the same, but we made the most of it. I hope you did too. Did you go, did you hunt for Easter eggs or look for your baskets? I've already lit our candle today to remind us that Jesus is with us, especially during this difficult time. You see my mask and my hand sanitizer. We're all kind of locked inside right now because there is a threat that we don't understand. Well, we kind of understand that there's a virus going around. It's a virus that we can't see and so we're staying home and being as safe as possible, washing our hands. Um, we can't see this virus, but we know it's there because we can see that people are getting sick. Now, the, this day in church is sort of similar to what we're going through. It finds Jesus, Jesus' disciples gathered in a locked room, afraid of the people who killed Jesus and they don't quite know what to do but then suddenly Jesus appears among them and he says peace be with you and they're so happy they're so full of joy they recognize their friend Jesus and then Jesus says peace be with you again and he shows them his hands and his side he says, look, it's really me. And they're so filled with joy. And Jesus says again, peace be with you. And he says to them, the sins you forgive are forgiven, but the sins you don't forgive are not forgiven. And then Jesus went away. The disciples told, um, their friend, Thomas, the twin, what had happened. Thomas wasn't with them when Jesus appeared. And by the time Thomas came back, Jesus was gone. And Thomas said, I don't believe it. I won't believe it unless I can put my hand in his side and touch the wounds on his hands. And the other disciples were, were tried and tried, but they could not convince Thomas that they had seen Jesus. So, a week later, Jesus appeared again. And this time, Thomas was there. And Jesus said, here I am, Thomas. Look at my hands. Do you want to put your hand into my wounds and into my side? But Thomas said, I believe, Lord. I am so happy to see you again. And Jesus said, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. The amazing thing about this story, to me, the most amazing thing about this story is that Jesus knows about us in the future. Because he says to those disciples, you believe because you've seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. He's talking about us, you and me. We believe in Jesus. We've never seen him walking around on earth. We've never been able to put our hands, our fingers into his wounds, but we believe. Now, sometimes it's hard to believe. We have this candle here, and the candle that we light every week on our prayer table and that we light during Mass is to remind us that Jesus is with us. Even though we can't see him, we know he's here. Now, we talked a little bit about the virus that's going around, the, the, the coronavirus, 
and we said that we can't see it, but we know it's there because of the effects it has. It makes people very, very sick. Some people very, very sick, and some people not very sick at all. So it's hard to know who is sick and who's not sick because we can sometimes see the effects and sometimes those effects are hidden from us. It's the same thing with Jesus. We know that Jesus is alive in our world today because we can see the effects. What are those effects that Jesus has on the world? Well, I like to think that it has to do with helpers. During this, especially during this time of the, of the quarantine, we see hospitals that are crazy busy with patients who are sick. And all those hospital workers work long hours to help people and to take care of them so that they will get healthy again. Helpers are one way that we can see Jesus alive in the world. Maybe your parents and you, and maybe even you, have taken something over to an elderly neighbor. I know we, um, some of us at church, did a sunshine run and we brought blessing bags to some of the church's neighbors. And people were so happy, they came out of their houses and said thank you. And it shows that Jesus is alive in the world. By the kind of good things that we do for other people, it's the effect of having Jesus in our world with us. So I hope you remember when you're locked inside that even though you can't see him, Jesus is with you. Maybe if you talk to your mom and dad, you could even turn on a, a battery operated candle or maybe mom and dad sometimes light candles on the stove in a safe way uh, to remind you that Jesus is with us. Thank you for coming to JAM today. Oh, I almost forgot. There are some fun things to do that'll be on the um, Facebook page and on the um, flock note. There's one that says, we believe Jesus is alive. And the other awesome thing about today is that it is called Divine Mercy Sunday. You know how Jesus said to the disciples, um, Blessed are those who believe because they have seen me. And he also said, if you forgive sins, they're forgiven. If you don't, they're not forgiven. Well, um, we call that mercy, right? When someone forgives us, they have mercy on us. So today, this is Divine Mercy Sunday. You'll see this if you tune into the Mass or if you did tune into the Mass. Divine Mercy Sunday. Jesus is with us. And this is the picture that St. Faustina, the vision, a picture of the vision that St. Faustina had of Jesus in divine mercy. So there'll also be a coloring page of this on um, our flock, attached to our flock note and on our Facebook page in the comments. Thanks. Have an awesome day. And we'll close in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, we know you are alive. We know you are with us inside and outside. We ask you to take good care of the people who are sick, whether it's with coronavirus or any other illness. And we ask you, when we truly confess to you our sins, please forgive them because we love you and we know you love us so much. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.